Alrighty guys, so welcome back to ARK, where today, well, I finally figured out what I'm going to be doing for the next egg farm creature. So, what I need is my last two, and it's looking like my last option here is going to, uh, well, it's going to probably be a Therizino. And, uh, but this one, uh, my superior kibble, it has actually been filled by the Thorax Spider. I did a little testing off screen here. I'm going to show you it here in a minute. I actually probably can do it right now. Um, I have all the stuff here to make kibble. So if I take two Thorax Spider eggs, they don't have to be fertilized. I know it drops unfertilized egg because I've collected them before. If I turn it on here, boom, boom, and it's making the kibble I need. So that's the, that's the only evidence I need that I need to uh, start letting these uh, just go and cook. And so that way I can get um, you know, a bunch of the spiders. Also, that's just perfect. I went to go get off and I opened the door. Um, also, if you guys don't know, these are my, this is my Phoenix. All right. I was able to get these guys all done. I sat back, hung out for a little bit. Um, it took me the entirety of, well, so I did the entirety of these guys on Monday and then towards the end of Monday, I finally got the first Phoenix. So I, then I spent all of today, Tuesday, breeding up the Phoenixes or hunting them and then breeding them up. And well, they turned out pretty damn good. I love the colors I got on them. Of course, I do got, I think I did get a couple event colors to mix in, at least one. I'm thinking it's that, actually, I don't think I, maybe I didn't. Because I'm pretty sure that 95 is in the actual, uh, color palette for the phoenixes to have that purple is the dark uh was it? it's the dark dino purple so yeah that one's not that one's not uh what is it an event color either i'm pretty sure you can even have that that one can even come out on rexes i think it even pops out on moralitopses so it's it's on a couple creatures already so i'm just impressed it was on the phoenix because we get these epic purple flames so we do need a name for this gal. So do think hard on this one. I would appreciate it. Also remember that we do need a name for our personal thorax spider right here. She also needs a name. I did have one in mind, but I don't want to use it quite yet. Might save it for a different creature. I really want to save it for a different creature. Please, please give me this gal a name. That's essentially what I'm crying for right now. I'm also crying for this gal a name. And, uh, if you also didn't notice, I do got Thor and Azula popped out. Um, I'm thinking that my train, um, I'm not trusting it with the cryo fridge. So, I'm thinking I'm going to get everything moved over to, uh, Oasisaur here soon. And, uh, well, originally today, besides, uh, you know, doing the egg farm here, I originally planned for us to do the cave. Now, the reason that changed is because um, I decided not to play the game I wanted to play. Now, the reason is, is because I'm going to wait until we complete Gears of War 3. I know, I know, we just started Gears 2. Also, I'm running around like a madman. I'm going to just stand still for a minute while I explain. So, I'm going to hopefully run all the way through, complete Gears of War 3. Thank you guys as well. I'm loving the support you guys have been giving me on Gears of War. I'm appreciating it. Um, as well with ARK, you guys have been going above and beyond with almost every ARK video I have posted. I mean, they have almost every single one. I've been used to only getting about, like, yo, 100, 150 views here. Almost every single one last week got over 100. Actually, let me, I can pull it up. Okay, so what it was is, it wasn't last week, it was the week before, because remember, last week I took it off. So the week before last, um, almost every ARC video except one got over 300 views. Which is impressive. That's actually very impressive for me. And then this week is off to a really good start. Um, the Thorax Spider video, you guys have already got that at 2,000 views. And I... Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it so much. Thank you guys so, so much. Keep it up. I'm loving it. Also, our subscribers, they're gunning up as well. Thank you guys so much. But yeah, anyways, 
we're gonna hop into just kind of getting this all done where we get the farm set up here for this egg that's more or less all we're doing today this is this is a filler episode because I'm not I don't have time to go do what I need to go do for the video my next video idea and we are still going to do the cave on Friday. It's just now I needed two video ideas. And I could only come up with one and a half. <laughs> so this is the half. Uh, yeah. Sorry about that. Okay, so for starters here. I figured we'd go finish throwing up the farm here. Or the, the little pen that I have here. Now, I know these look weird. And I was a little like, eh, at them. But my grandfather has structures like these out on his property, his little farm. And I guess he built them himself. They're kind of like sheds, but they're not. They're like, eh, I don't know what they're called. He calls them his sheds. and But they're like, the face is open and then they're like tin shed back. And then, yeah, it's weird. That's what I'm, that's what I originally tried basing these off of. What am I looking for? It's in my hop art. Jeez. You can see, like, how ADHD affects me sometimes. I just completely forget what I'm, like, where I've put something. Then I'm looking for it in the completely wrong spot, and then it's in my hot bar the entire time, and it's like, ugh. Now, let's go. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Now, I'm thinking, because I can get the spiders pretty close. I'm thinking I can do three, then two, and then three again. So that would be eight spiders in total. So that'd be seven female spiders and then one male spider that I need. So let's quickly get this finished up here. Oop, that's the raptor skin. We want the, uh, what is it? The cowboy skin? What is this one actually called? Frontier structure skin. We, that's what all my, I also unequipped it. Boom, 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 boom. So there we go. We got the frontier structures on all the frontier structure skins on all of those. And I'm saying it lo it looks pretty good. Now, the way I have this farm set up as well, everything should be going to uh, this one over after here. All the eggs. Also, I need to explain something because I forgot to do it here a little bit ago. Um, one of those things is... I know, like two episodes ago, and someone even called it out on me last episode. Thank you, because I even forgot about it. Um, I said I was not going to be going back to the island again. And then I went, I had my break, and then over my break, I made a decision where uh, I had already broken like two or three of the rules I'd already set for myself in place on uh, Scorched Earth. And the first one was, first of all, bringing anything over from the island. Second one is I brought me over creatures. Third one is I brought me over gear. Fourth one is I brought me over tech and element. Now that was the final straw. So that's basically, I basically broke every single rule I had set in place for myself. Which those, those th first three there where it's like, alright, I can't bring creatures, I can't bring any items, and especially can't bring any sort of tech over, you know? I mean, that already is like, alright, I can't bring anything over except my guy. And I broke that. I broke all three, I broke all three of those rules, I broke all four, or, or, yeah. I broke them all. So, that's why I've kind of decided that, since how I have broken them all already, I am just gonna... Uh, Say, screw it here on Scorched Earth. We've already broken them all. We're going to go over to the island whenever we need anything. But I'm going to try and be as self-sufficient self on Scorched Earth as I can. As you can see, I'm trying to get everything set up. I'm even thinking about using some phoenixes to set up a pearl farm. Because they poop out pearls. And they even purple, poop out black pearls too. I was collecting them while I was breeding them. Hold up. Do you got any? Oh, like, yeah, look. Perfect. I actually have black pearls right there. <laughs> That's perfect. And then, of course, when you drop them, then it's like, boom. And, of course, not every time that they poop, it's going to be black pearls. But sometimes it will. So I can I can probably make a pearl farm with phoenixes. Um, otherwise, I would have to use eryptodons on Scorched Earth. And, well, that would mean, mean I need a body of water to put the lobsters in. I'd have to make a lobster tank on Scorched Earth. I don't want to make a lobster tank. Because I also got some... Uh, I don't know if this is good news or bad news from uh, No Untamables. 
Uh, but they are going to be adding, uh, like, walking animations on land for the Eryptodons. Um, also, they are going to be adding in uh, unsurfaced... Uh, no, was unsurfaced death worms for un untamables. So that means the entire worm will come out of the ground. Now, I find that just like, oh, oh no. Oh, look, a sandstorm coming right at me. I looked up at the perfect time. Well, anyways, we're going to go inside so that way we don't have to hear this. I probably still have to hear it standing inside, don't I? No, I don't. It's muffled. Okay. But, you know, just having the death room out of the ground, I just find it unsettling. And we are getting good, like, it's getting progress done, as I understand, as of right now. Um, their test branch is out for Scorched Earth. And they are currently working on the Jug Bugs. So they're going to kind of get all the ones that they are not doing, like, overly fancy new, cre like, new features on. Um, but... They are having to, like, build every single one of them for a No Untamables up from the ground. And as well, if you're wondering why I'm just, like, rambling on, I'm waiting for my spotters to make enough eggs for me to test. And I need to get you guys, like, all these updates on, like, what's going on with the uh, arc and what, uh, like, my get my playthrough and all that. So, um, what is it? Also, I removed two, uh, two mods. They were both creature mods. I'm trying to remember what they were got. Forgotten Fauna. I removed the Forgotten Fauna mods again. Um, the reason is, is that here recently I decided to go look back at all my mods and after getting the Thorax Spider and the, looking at all my other creatures mods, I wanted to leave the ones where the creatures looked like, uh, well I hate to say it, like they weren't just grabbed off of the Unreal Engine Workshop, and I understand, please, please do not go and, like, kill me and, like, cancel me down in the comment section for this. I do understand that the guy who made the Forgotten Fauna mods made those from scratch, alright? I understand that. Please do not, like, you know, I understand that he's made those all from scratch. I just felt that I would prefer not to have them in my playthrough just because say having them sit next to an actual art creature with like it's got the fur it's got all that it's got like actual uh depth of detail is in it that was the major thing the scales like had like it had scales on it but it looked like they were painted on that was my major thing there was no depth to the scales so that was the big thing it's just that the texture of the skin did not have any depth to it so that was the major killer. Otherwise, the creatures are really good concepts. They are really fascinating to play with. I highly recommend you guys do go play with them yourselves. I did go and test out both of them. I do have one video in my actual series of taming the... Was it the Mono? I can't remember its full name, but, like, yeah, I tamed that. And, I mean, it was pretty awesome. It was a caving creature. I even used it in a cave. Um, but I decided, yeah, I just wanted to... I, that was something I didn't want in my series anymore. So, I figured I'd just give you guys that update here as well. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, this sandstorm's ending here, so I'm going to go check on the eggs. Okay, I got two eggs. Question is... Also, you might be wondering why I'm more running down here. That is where I've stashed all my... Uh, or, not all of my air conditioners. All the ones that weren't damaged. That's where I've stashed them. And that's also so that way I can just, like, you know, turn this on. Boom, it pops out an egg. Wait a couple minutes. Boom, it pops out a bunch of them. Come over and shop it up with this gal. You know? That's a good way to... That is a good way to automate your polymer farm. So. Here's another interesting fact about the Thorax Spider. Um, if you didn't know, the mod author has made it so that way when you hatch their eggs... You get multiple of them. Like, actual, like, triplets and, like, double twins are more common and are supposed to be that way. So don't, like, freak out if you think it's, like, you, what is going on? Is something getting attacked? I've been having a bad terror bird problem. I've been thinking about putting up some plant species X as well. That means I also have to go back to the island to get that. 
But yeah, uh, the mod authors made it so that way you get triplets and twins a lot more common. Just like actual spiders, like, because when spiders make their eggs, it's like hundreds, hundreds of baby spiders. Also, w oh, something about them being smaller when they scurry away, like, ooh. Here, also, mod author, if you're listening to this at all for some reason, um, please consider making it so that way the brood mother can spawn in these and or a smaller, tinier version like that, like the baby. Because I just find that terrifying when you see this. When you see... All right, hear me out on this. I'm not someone that's scared of spiders, but something about a big smider, spider like this, like, I find this kind of cute, all right? This thing's big, yeah, it's scary, it's got multiple eyes, but you can find some cuteness in it. Something about it being just a tiny bit smaller and about the size of a chihuahua puts the fear of God in me. Alright? Okay, like, come on, look at this. Look at this swarm of spiders, guys. You're not telling me you wouldn't fear this thing if you just saw eight spiders, that, like, this size running at you, you know? Like... Like, this would terrify me. I'm not even, I'm not even, like, actually scared of spiders. I usually see a spider on my wall, I'm like, eh, where's my shoe? Whack. Gone. Dealt with. Never to be seen again. Until it's a wolf spider, and, like, you just see, like, the, it just start, them just start pouring out of it. Because it was a mama spider, and its babies are all stored inside of it. And then you're, you, that, that is when you just, you leave your house, you burn it down. You just leave, all right? You don't even say anything about it. Don't even co try and collect any insurance money because they're going to know it was fraud. <laughs> you know? Okay, guys. So this here should be the last spider for the farm, and that's going to be the male. And he should start making it so that way they do have an increased chance of laying eggs. But this should just start make it, this farm's complete. It should make it so that way I get a lot, a hopefully a lot, of eggs. Also, you might notice that the game is lagging a lot more now. Reason is, is that there's tumbleweeds stuck in some structures. And I've noticed tumbleweeds in this game, they kill your FPS. They, like, will kill it. Like, completely. Along with, the, you know what, probably my spiders are still breeding here as well. Have I left you guys breeding that whole time? No, I don't think... I don't think I did. Also, I just realized I hit my pause button there instead of the escape. I don't think I did. You guys are still... No, you guys are still breeding. Right, I need to go get your cryopods and put you away. Alrighty, guys. So, that's probably going to be it for this episode. I got my farm built up. We did kind of ramble on about what's going on and arc and what plans with the series have been and like why I went back to the island also I didn't finish explaining why I went back to the island so uh, you guys I already explained why I went back to the island but now the reason why I'm going to continue going back is because I'm going to implement harsh rules on me for the center where I can't transfer absolutely anything. So the rules that were originally supposed to be placed on the center. And if I do break them, I have to throw away cre one a creature. I have to like throw an entire like set of creatures. So like if I break the rules at least like once, like say, all right, I'm gonna bring over a creature with me. I'd have to throw away, say both my spiders. I'd have to throw away and restart the genetic library if I break any of the rules. All right, and you guys will own me on that. I will roll it and throw it away. You guys have to call like call me out on it if you guys have, like yeah, no, I'm not allowed to. I will throw start throwing creatures out of the genetic library and setting me back and like that, you know, just if I keep on doing this because I I personally find it bullshit that I did it. I said I wasn't going to be doing that well, before I even started Scorched Earth. Then I come to Scorched Earth, and within, like, three days, I'm breaking my rules, so. But, yeah. Anyways, if you guys have found yourself at any point liking this episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also, remember to ring that bell so that way you guys get notifications upon when I post. Also, if you guys don't know, I am running a sub-goal and a membership goal. So, 
Our sub goal is I am trying to reach 10,000 subs this year. So again, would be appreciated if you guys would subscribe. Um, and if you guys have been subscribed already or would just like to be going above and beyond describer, a subscriber, sorry, I'm like sucking at English today, um, we are currently running our membership goal. So that is the YouTube channel memberships. It is $1.99. So once you sign up for that, we're currently trying to get 10 YouTube channel members. Uh, so that way, once we hit that goal, we can open up our ARC server. And I've already decided, kind of, that what we're going to be doing for that ARC server is that you have to be a member of the Discord for 30 days to be able to join. Or, if you are uh, a member, you can join right away and you are mo most likely going to get early access to the server when it first comes out. So, anyways, yeah, anyway, this has been Gunjammer, signing off. Peace.